In this video, we will go through on how the Grand Peace Online crew system works. These are the few topics that we're going to talk about in this video. How to make a crew, how to manage your crew, how to obtain ace, best ways to farm bounty, best ways to farm infamy and conquest points, and overall, everything about the crew system in GPO. Let's get right into the video. Yer. Step 1. Making your crew. When it comes to creating your own crew, there are two important things you need to know. To create a crew, you either have to have 200k bounty, or you can make a crew by buying it with Robux, which will cost you around 1,500 Robux. There are only two ways to gain bounty in GPO, and that is by bounty hunting or shift farming. I won't go into detail on how to gain bounty, but there are plenty of videos on YouTube on how to gain bounty, so make sure to check those out. When you do meet the requirements to create a crew, choose your crew name and press create crew. Step 2. Managing your crew. As a crew owner, you have a lot of different stuff you will be able to do, and we will go through each and one of them. And the first thing you probably want to do is to invite a player to your crew, and that is simple. First, open your crew menu, look to your right and select the invites option. A menu will come up where it says player name and invite. They need to be in your game or else they won't get the invite. Type their exact username and press invite. When you have invited a specific player, this should pop up on their screen. You were invited to your crew name. Now the player that you invited needs to go to the invite section. After that, this should pop up on their screen. And then they can accept or decline. When they have accepted, it will say accepted invite. And now they're in your crew. Make sure that the player is not in another crew, because if so, he won't be able to get the invite. And a bit more important information, there are two types of crews, pirate crews and marine factions. Pirates can only join pirate crews and marines can only join marine factions. So if you're a pirate and want to join a marine faction, you need to change to marine, same goes for pirate. There are different types of locations where you could change from a pirate to marine or a marine to a pirate. But my preferred spot is at Rose Kingdom, so if you're a pirate, you can go to the recruiter and he will make you a marine. And if you're a marine, you can go to the marine captain and he will make you a pirate. Both are located at the cafe in Rose Kingdom. One more thing about inviting players to your crew. The maximum amount of players you can have in one crew is 500 people. You start off with 10 crew member slots, but I will tell you how to upgrade the capacity. First of all, you gotta go to the first seat and visit the crew captain. And he is located at Shellstown. At first, he's gonna ask you to give him 1000 conquest points to upgrade your crew member capacity to 20. Every time you upgrade your crew member capacity, it always pluses your members by 10 people. But each time you buy from the captain, it costs more and more conquest points. Here's how much you need to spend every upgrade. And yeah, I did this myself, I'm a nerd. <laughs> But let's end it there and look at the crew settings. Okay, for the crew settings, I'll take this pretty quickly. Go to your crew, then press the settings button, top right, and here you have different types of options. Logo, members, ranks, misc, which you can't do anything with yet, and then delete your crew. So first of all, how do I upload a crew logo? First, go to the Roblox website, press create, then you go to store, then you go to images, and here you can choose whatever logo you want. You can also upload your own image, but I won't tell you how to do that in this video. So let's take this random geometry dash picture, go on that, then copy these numbers on top on the search bar. Then go in game, put it in here, and then update image, and it will be the image you have chosen. Let's go over to members. In the members tab, you can look at all the players in your crew. You can also see how much infamy they've gained and how much infamy they've lost for you. In this tab, you can also kick members, and you can also assign their ranks, which we will be talking about next ranks you can make your own ranks as you can see we have a lot of ranks because we made them ourselves when you make a rank you can name it whatever you want and you can you can give that rank a specific permission so you, you can make him kick lower rank members he can manage member ranks or or he could spend your conquest points on the conquest shop but we'll talk about that later and anyway here on misc we can't do anything yet and delete your crew if you want to delete your crew you can go in here type yes and then leave and that's it before we get into stuff like the crew shop contribution and how to obtain ace let's talk about infamy and conquest points stage four infamy and conquest points there are two ways to gain infamy and conquest points it's either by capturing flags in public servers or doing the 4v4v4v4 in the universe hub what do we need infamy and conquest points for well conquest points can be used to expand your crew's max members and it can be used to buy things from the crew shop now how does infamy work infamy is used to determine your crew's ranking on the global leaderboard and this is important because this is how you obtain the ace stage five how to obtain the ace to obtain the ace you need to reach amongst the top 50 crews on the game that has gained the
the most infamy. When your crew reaches top 50 on the crew leaderboard, you and your whole crew will get an ace in your inventory. But that doesn't mean you get to keep it. If you and your crew ever lose the top 50 spot, you and your crew will lose the ace again. And you need to get top 50 to obtain the ace once again. This also implies if you leave the crew while you're top 50 and only you will lose the ace. The top crew leaderboard resets every month. So next month, everyone is going to be at zero infamy again and you have a new chance to get top 50. But probably the easiest way to get top 50 is to join another crew. And where can you look for crews? It's in hashtag crew recruitment channel. If you go in here, people post daily, hourly, minutely crews you can join. And some of them are top 50. And make sure you don't slack off and don't grant infamy. Because they can check your contribution. Everyone can see the top 50 contribution for the crew. And if you're not there, you might get kicked. As you can see, you can see everyone that has the most bounty from top 50. So if you're not there, you, you might possibly get kicked from your crew. If you have any questions or you want to know how to get the most infamy possible, join my Discord link in the description. And join Iconic, bro. Iconic on top.